We all know how much I remembered from my childhood back in the 90s and early 2000s. But how British was it? What percentage? Well, thankfully, BuzzFeed are going to tell us. So what I've got to do is take off all the things I did in when I was just a little child of something. <laughs> Watch Art Attack after school. Oh, definitely. I loved Art Attack. What was his name? Neil. He was great. And the head. <laughs> My mum always told me she was that he got a complaint off a lot of parents for the mess. Oh. But nevertheless, it was a great show. Watch M SMTV on Saturday mornings. Nope, don't remember it. Looking forward to stars in their eyes on every Saturday. Nope. War jelly shoes. Yes, thank you, mother. And dungarees. Yep. And the dress too. Was thrilled by gladiators. Nope. Collected pogs if your life depended on it. Nope. Fancy dandy Peters. I was a kid. Why would I? Owned the Ed the Duck puppet. Nope. <laughs> War Fisher Price skates over your shoes. Yes, Mickey Mouse. Begged to stay up and watch Crystal Maze. Didn't have to. <laughs> Got pick and mix from Woolworths. Yep. Complained when you had to buy sensible shoes from Clarks. Only if I didn't like them. But that kind of is complaining. So, yes. <laughs> and feel every uncomfortable. And feeling very com uncomfortable when you had to do that little walk to test them out in the shop. Yep. <laughs> Well, maybe not as much, but I remember doing it. I did it anyway. Did a weird little Irish dance on Bewitched. Ses Say La Vie was on. No. <laughs> Felt a huge a sense of accomplishment when you got good at Snake. No. But then again, up to 10, 11. What's the average? Eight hubba bubba bubble gum. That was a bit of a twister. <laughs> yes, I did. Eight, you mean chewed. Knew all the words to Aqua's Barbie Girl. No, 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 no. I refuse to. Mourned when someone wanted to use the phone so he couldn't play on the computer. Yep. We're scared of Mr. Blobby. Oh, jeez, yeah. I'm having flashbacks again. But yes. Felt like a criminal going to buy any sweets from the corn shop without your parents knowing. I never did that. How can you do that? How? Someone, tell me. I was deprived of this knowledge. <sighs> I'm an adult now, so it doesn't matter. Played Minesweeper on the computer when you were bored, yep. Got very good at solitaire on the computer, yep, on the computer. And with a deck of cards. Yes, they still have those. Asked for an inflatable chair for your birthday, no. Knew all the words to Spice Girls wanna be, nope. Spent hours colouring in velvet art. Not hours, but I did. Circled everything you wanted for Christmas in the August catalogue. I can't speak for every child, but I used to write them down for Santa to buy or make. However you did them. <laughs> I didn't circle anything. But yes, we were from the August catalogue. So, hmm. Sang along to Botcher and Badger theme too, yes. And Chuckle Vision, uh huh. Felt really grown up watching Biker Grove, nope. Wanted to go a fun house with Pat Sharp, nope. Wished you could own the Queen's Nose. The Queen's Nose was a, another CBC program where he, this magic 50 pence piece or his magic and could grant wishes. And I think it was 10 wishes, I think. So that would be pretty good. So yeah, wish I could have one. <laughs> kind of ironic really <laughs> wishing you could have the queen's nose to have your wishes granted mm. sat by the window to try to get enough light to play on your game boy when you were supposed to be in bed again the playstation we want an only console as a kid and actually i used to go downstairs in the middle of the night to find my mother playing on it <laughs> so no Try to make everything off a of Blue Peter Rot attack and feel completely. I didn't feel completely. I did the simple ones. I remember when I was little, my mum and dad bought me some paints for me to test out 
um, oh, it was a simple one. And I can't really explain it, but explain it. Explain it. Uh, you had to like one massive colour on, and you put another colour colour in the middle, and then you use something to scratch again, like spread them out so it made like a psychedelic hippie tie dye pattern. That worked for me, but I didn't fail. And there was also a sausage and eggs model that worked for me as well. So. <laughs> Try to earn a blue Peter badge. I've got three. Be right back. Right, here they are. That's the silver one for what I do. Oh yeah, <laughs> I made a video, I sent it to them. But my first one, which is what everyone got, I was 10, 11 I think. I drew the, um, the whole presenters as a band. I think I did. I did something. <laughs> I remember I sent it into them and I got this. And this was a competition badge, I think. I keep forgetting. It had something to do with Harry Potter. Uh, oh, it was when the last Harry Potter book was released. And you had to, well, if you wanted to join in, the competition was you drew yourself as a witch or a wizard and you'd give your names and that kind of thing. I got this one. <laughs> I didn't win the competition, but this was like a consolation prize and jeez. You had like if you wanted to get a blue Peter badge, you had to do something extraordinary, not just like do a picture. So like you had to like save someone's life in order to get a blue Peter badge or be on the show. No, it was the envy. Try to earn and I succeeded. And bought sugar magazine with your pocket money. Top of the pops, yes, sugar, no. My results. Your 90s childhood was very stereotypically British. You could run home from school or watch CBC and Art Attack and would beg to stay up late so you could watch Gladiators on Saturday night. You know the true pain of wearing jelly shoes for too long. I remember the Spice Girls in their prime. Okay. Let's look up these. Okay, so I could have got twenty if I picked that one, but I did the simple ones, like I said. So <laughs> I didn't count that one in because I did. I did kind of succeed even though they weren't as good as Neil's on the show and I never made anything from Blue Peter apart from <laughs> um what else I don't remember Fun House I didn't watch Biker Grove <laughs> these ones everyone did I don't know all the words of Spice Girls so I could do if I tried but I don't want you I knew how uncomfortable an inflatable chair was I learned early and I still don't understand that. Feeling like a criminal. I actually like, did you shoplift? <laughs> to buy sweets. <laughs> Again, I could if I wanted to, but I don't. And I never will. Well, I kind of do, but you know. It's just too painful. <laughs> Accomplishment when you got good sneak. Oh, I could have. Oh, 10 or 11 is quite good, but. It got so hard after that. Say that I don't remember that. No. No. Who did that? What is it? I can't look it up because of copyright. <laughs> Ed the Duck, Fancy Dante Peters. I would have been five when their 90s ended. So no. I didn't collect pogs. Glad he is. I just didn't like it. That was all. Well, I wasn't interested in it, like, like I said before, but it just wasn't my thing. I preferred the Crystal Maze. <laughs> I don't remember Stars in Their Eyes or SMTV, so maybe I just missed a lot out. <laughs> but still. And yes, I did watch CBC and Art Attack. Well, Art Attack was on a different channel. And... I didn't beg to stay up late. I 
<laughs> I just watched a crystal maze, like I said. I loved it when I was a kid. <laughs> if it wasn't on the day it was supposed to be on, I had a VHS tape. Yes, that's how old I am. Ready to watch the reruns when... <laughs> Thank you, Mammy Gamer. <sighs> and wearing jelly shoes for too long? I don't remember them hurting. But nevertheless... So, oops. No, Alright, come back. I got more than half, which is okay. I checked more than 37% of the quiz takers. <laughs> so, alright. Decent amount. Though, it doesn't really matter because I either did or I didn't back then. But, I did. <laughs> if that made sense. <laughs> well, I'm going to end it here. If you liked it, hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe for more. See you soon! <laughs>